I'm a duck whippy. I'm better where stay. He honey where stay. Hello, my relatives. It is a good day. And hello today. Good morning. Well, <clears throat> I want to talk about colonialism today, especially colonialism on the reservation. And if we have time, we'll get to the United States of America. Or maybe you can pick out the same policies. But let me tell you about the reservation. They make sure there isn't any economic development. They make sure there are no banks. We have a reservation that's 4,500 square miles and no banks. We have communities with 460 people, like in Nebraska, and they'll have one or two banks. We have nothing of the sort, but mainly because we don't have control of our land. It's held in trust by the federal government. And in order for us to do anything with that piece of land or pieces of land, we have to go through the bureaucracy of the tribal government, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, three levels, at the agency level, at the area office level, and at the Washington, D.C. level. So if you want to start a business, usually a convenience store, that's about all, and a gas station, convenience store. So that's all we're allowed. We have one grocery store here on the Pine Ridge Sioux Indian Reservation that is overpriced, and the goods are like, like day-old bread, you know, except it's a week old. Things are that way. Really... Uh, limp lettuce, if it's limp at all, if there's any lettuce at all, etc. But the main point I'm trying to make here is that life on the reservation is just a whole picture of despair. Diet, they get at you at diet. They poison the water, uranium poisoning, arsenic poisoning, all types of mineral poisoning. Lead, nickel. So what we have here on the reservation is a dumbing down physiologically and physically. Now with the agricultural department's surplus food program, that's what they, they will deliver. But it's high in starch and sodium. Just like the EBT, or the, what used to be called food stamps, all you can buy is what poor people buy, and those are starchy foods, chips, pop, things that make you momentarily happy to be in this quagmire. And that's, again, feeds into these starchy foods, feeds into sugar diabetes, and your need for sugar, which leads you to alcohol, because alcohol, the sugar in alcohol goes straight to the brain without digestion. So that's why we're alcoholics. Also, the fact that we want to escape the pain. The pain. Now, you don't understand what happened in the first 75 years of reservations. The boarding school system, both the Christian boarding schools and the federal government boarding schools, and where they shamed us and assaulted us and sexually molested us and physically abused us. I know. I was there with AIM when we took over Shilako Indian School in Shilako, Oklahoma, back in the 70s. I know my parents. I know my brothers. I know. I've been there, the dumbing down of America. So you operate on essentially credit, and then they'll dry up your credit. Sound familiar? 
And then when you get in the way of, of civilization, as we were, or progress as a family farmer, family rancher is, that's why they've been credited out of existence. They've been under attack for half a century and no one pays attention, no one fights. What's wrong? That's our food source. But of course, now we have corporate food, foods, GMO. We still don't know what's that going to bring us. But it's part of dumbing down your brain through diet, through poor health. Why do you think we have poor health in America and we can't, we can't fix it? It's designed. Look at Indian policies. It's designed so it dumbs you down. A weary, unfed brain cannot grasp and critically think. So look at the obesity in America. Come to the reservation. A poor people who are obese? What? So you see, we do have the policies here that need to be studied. Democracy now on the left. Does it do anything to try to stop what's happening in America? Look at the American Indian and you'll find out what's happening to you right now and has happened. Family farmer in the way of progress and civilization. Corporate greed, corporate manipulation. We're getting no news now. Huh? Unless you're lucky enough to be on the internet, or unless you're lucky enough to watch the B BBC news, and that's a government news source, and that's the best we've got, it is. So you see, folks, we try, have been trying to warn you from day one. We even gave you your constitution, but you short-circuited short that. It's only approximately one-third of the great law of peace of the Iroquois Confederacy. That's, that's sad. Sad that you don't even know that. Sad that you've been so colonized. You know, when I used to be a libertarian, I used to say Democrats were brain dead and Republicans were retarded. Anybody who votes Republican or Democrat, you are retarded or brain dead. All I can tell you is what Albert Einstein said, and I've said this before. And this insanity is when you try something over and over again and expect different results. Mitaku, we are all related.